about this and, and how it's built? Uh, so you're looking at the SIVA cycle atom. So it's about taking just the, the ride into recharging anything via USB. Turn the wheel. The wheel references the spokes, which turns our direct uh, our, our drive gear, which then turns a, a electromagnetic rotor around the stator, which creates our energy. You can either charge while you're riding via our underseat USB, or after you get where you're going, we have a removal battery pack. So, Vernon, we have uh, what you call a micro drone here. H how how does it work? So, micro drone is a palm-sized quadcopter. So, it's it's like a miniaturized quadcopter um, with four rotor blades to fly up, and it's got um, it's got a pack with sensors to stabilize it. So, it's got a it's got a 720 HD camera, so you can take videos and and uh, stills. There is a very practical application. Um, one of which is taking tea bags into the kitchen. Uh-huh. Uh, that's quite fun. John, we're in what we call Hardware Alley right now, and this is very much almost your brainchild. You've been behind hardware and talking about this for a while. Sure. Why right now is hardware taking off in technology? Well, it's taken a few years, and it's been, it's been fairly interesting, the transition from software specifically. Uh, it's been easy to program things. It's been able to, to create uh, web services. But now you're able to create hardware the same way you build software. So you can design things on your computer at home, you can print it out at home, and there are so many cool little boards and things that you can add to your hardware to make a little mini computer. So this is a social bicycle, that's what you guys are calling it. What exactly is it? What are the bells and whistles here? Sure, so this is a public bike. Uh, you see bike share systems spreading across Europe and the United States. And usually you take a bike from one docking station, ride it around and drop it off at another. What we're doing differently is putting all the technology on the bike itself, and we have a lock that works with regular bike racks. It has GPS tracking, so you know where the bikes are, and the user can find and book it through the web, through their mobile phone, and from the keypad interface on the bike. 